Oh, you found it. How wonderful. Yep, I managed to wrestle it away from Gabby. Did you? Well, I won't let you regret it. And oh, there's one more thing left I need from you to help finish things up. All right, be quick about it. I have an accessory already picked out for you that will go perfectly with your new dress. Would you be a dear and stop by the shopping center to pick it up? As long as I don't have to pay for it, sure. Okay then, talk to you in a bit. I love how he's not offended by the shit that I'm saying. I think I'm being pretty mean, personally. Hi, how can I help you? You should have a package here for Mr. Daniel Fox who sent me to pick it up. Right. Oh, I remember seeing that when it came in and thinking, wow, Daniel Fox orders from us. I was like, oh my god, no way, and I told all my friends, and they couldn't believe it. I mean, who'd think Daniel Fox would come to my store? Technically, he still hasn't come here yet. I guess not, but there's still time, I guess. So anyway, can you tell me the shipping number so I can find the package? The what? I'm sorry. I can't issue your package until I get your shipping number. Well, fine. What do you suggest I do in the meantime? Contact him and find out what it is. But I'm already here. Or if you want, I can call him and find out for you. Daniel's a bit of a busy person. I doubt he has a time, but if he does, I'll let you know. No, that says goodbye. Um, um, why would you need to contact him? I just, well, I'd ask about the shipping number. I don't know why she didn't say it. Is that all? I could do that much myself. Um, I'll do is that all. I also wanted to see if he would give me any fashion tips. Mm-hmm, right. Hey, I'm a bit bogged down right now, but you probably need the shipping number, right? Yeah, I got to the boutique. Apparently they need that before they can give me the package. I wrote the shipping number down in the kitchen at my house. And, oh, Frank should be there, so the door will be open for you. It's great that you're telling me this now, Daniel. Yeah, I'm really sorry. It must have slipped my mind. Anyways, get a hold of me once you get the package. I shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay, Daniel. What do you mean you didn't get it? We didn't get it. Who is this? Come on, Frankie. You know who we are, and we know who you are. Let's cut the crap. Listen, I can't talk right now. There's way too much attention around here. You really should have thought of that before you skipped down. Don't call me anymore. We don't have anything to talk about. Oh, well, see, we happen to think we do. But it sounds like we're going to have to talk face to face if we're going to get anything done. Talk to you soon, Frankie. Wait, hello? Hey! <sighs> Damn it. Alright, cool shit. Um, oh man, it's nighttime. I can sneak into Edda's house soon, then. How's my composure? It's not bad. And Daniel's just standing there like a freak. Ow. I don't even have anything that can, like, boost up my composure. That's not good. Look at Lance Ban- Lance Bans. <laughs> Look at Lance Bass just laying there like a fucking prince. You can go straight to hell. Do so much for that guy. He doesn't appreciate it one bit. Fuck him. Damn it, you can't sneak in anywhere. This sucks. Did you find the shipping number? Yes, I did. It's 0621135-5. What is this taped onto the top? Oh, yeah. Just a little letter for Daniel saying hi. That's all. You desperate whore. He's gay. Fuck off. Okay. So you take it easy. I'll see you around. Thanks again for all of your help. Goodbye. Mr. Fox. I'd like to speak with you for a moment, if I may. Oh, there's no need to be official with me. Just call me Frank. Well, I'll be frank with you, Frank. There are some things that I need to know, and I think you might be able to give me some answers. I'm sorry, I don't think I know you, and I, uh, I don't talk to strangers. Oh, I'm certain you don't know me. I'm not really from around here, per se. But I am very much familiar with who you are. With who I am? Yes. My visit to Fairview is the result of an interest in some of your most recent activities. If I may, I have a couple of questions I'd like to ask you about your duties during your tenure at the Bank of... I really can't talk now. A friend of mine is working on a project. 
and I told him I'd help him out with some of the details. That's right. Your brother Daniel is holding that sweetheart's fashion show sometime soon, isn't he? I, uh, sorry, I gotta go now. Hold up, we need to go slap him. Hey. Ouch. There must be a misunderstanding here. If you understand that you deserve that, then there's no misunderstanding here. The only thing I don't understand is why I did that in the first place. Please forgive me, Eric. Let's just forget the whole thing happened, shall we? Did we get his secret? I forget. Hello, miss. I'm afraid I can't speak with you at the moment. Well, why not? Sorry to bother you. Good day. Alright. I feel like we already got his secret from him. Yeah, we did. We're dressed up like a whore, so he probably enjoys that. So it's cool. Hey, you're back! Yes, I'm with your package, no less. So I see. You're going to look absolutely ravishing, you know that? You're damn right I will. Wow, don't be so modest. So guess what? Since you were so helpful, I'll do you a little favor. You can keep the dress after the show as a gift. Really, Daniel? Thanks so much. Not that many people can walk around saying they have a Fox original, you know. So, make sure you take good care of it. I bet I can get a lot of money for this online. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. Thanks a bunch, Dan. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, care to hear the latest about the fashion show? Oh, jeez. I've actually been up to my neck in work lately. The show is turning out to be a lot more work than I originally thought. Daniel, you aren't thinking of canceling the show, are you? Now, that's not to say that I want to quit. The show must go on, so to speak. Why, did you want to help me out? Oh, shit. What do I do? I can flat out refuse and then I can... Uh, oh, let's... I don't know. Let's refuse. Sorry, but no thanks. You really shouldn't have taken on the show if you didn't think you would be able to handle the responsibilities. I'm so sorry. Great. Fine. Be that way. Later, Daniel. I'm sorry. I feel horrible. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. Edie, can you please help me so you can help me ruin the show? You're supposed to be calling me. There we go. Hey, I was hoping to run into you. I want to talk to you about something. What the fuck just happened? Why did we pan over here? Okay, Edie, what did you want to talk to me about? I just wanted to ask you to stop by and talk for a bit about the big fashion show. Of course, I'll be over shortly. So just stop by when you get the chance. See you soon. You sure will. Why did it pan over there? That's so fucking weird. Oh, the logo. Edie says she wants to chat with you. Mind games with Gabrielle told you earlier about tricking other models. Sounds very promising. It'd be pretty difficult to walk around the runway with um, the threat of public embarrassment on your mind, don't you think? Talk to the other housewives and see if you can get a little something to get in their head. Or say a little something to get in their heads. Fuck yeah, we're taking the low road this time. Hello? Answer the fucking door. Edie. Where? Oh, there she is. It's about time you got here. I've been waiting for you. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. As you may know, I wasn't included in the show. Yeah, I heard. And although I don't blame you for taking the spot in the show that should have been mine... I think Daniel Fox should reconsider who he has in his show. Reconsider? How do you plan on making him do that? Oh, I know it's too late to change the lineup, but I think that if we make it apparent that there are people that object to there being only five sweethearts, then he should take notice. You know, Edie, that sounds like an enticing bit of trouble. Oh, it is. And trouble sounds like fun. I knew you'd be the perfect person to go to. So here's what I was thinking. This chemist guy I'm friends with, and sort of dating, was kind enough to give me a little present. Oh really? What kind of present? An acidic, time-delayed solution. A what? Essentially, it's the perfect way to ruin a dress with no one knowing, since it won't actually take effect until the day of the show. But since I have no business being backstage around the dresses, I need you to apply it for me. And don't worry, it doesn't matter whose dress you do it to, as long as somebody gets screwed. Although, I'd enjoy it a little more if it was Susan. And don't even think about lying to me and not doing it. A mistake like that will come back to haunt you. And what's in it for me? 
I have a hundred dollars here for you when you come back and tell me you're finished. How does that sound to you? It sounds like you've got yourself a deal. And all I need is that little solution you were talking about and we're good to go. Good? Great. So here, just take this and let me know how things turn out, okay? Bye! Bye! Alright. Let's go ruin one of these bitches. Fuck that noise. Sorry, Daniel. Oh god, I feel horrible for ruining the show. He's, like, letting me keep the dress, too, and that's so nice of him. But then again, he's letting the other women keep the dresses, too. Okay, Gabrielle is first, so we're ruining Gabrielle in blue dress. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going? No, this isn't where I want to go. Slow down. It's only 10 a.m. I don't have time for this nonsense. Hey, you're back already. How did it go? Everything's finished. I used the chemical and there wasn't a single person that saw me do it. So, whose dress did you decide to ruin? No, wait, don't tell me. It'll make for a nice surprise come the night of the show. I knew there was a reason why I liked you. Here's the cash I promised you. You know, if you enjoyed that, I have something else planned that I could use a little help with. If it's on par with your last idea, I'm game. Something else? Like what? Sorry, one treacherous act for show is enough for me. As an incentive, I have this dress that would be perfect for you. I'd be willing to let you have it, if you help me out. And the show went off with every hitch we had planned. So, are you in or not? Eh, no thanks. Absolutely. That's just what I wanted to hear. So, I had two things in mind. First, there's nothing funnier than a woman in heels falling flat on her face. Am I right? Well, it's a bit overdone, but it'll be good for a laugh. Eh, I guess it's usually true. Let's make that happen. I'm sure someone around here has some floor wax you can borrow. Find it and use it on the runway. Just make sure to walk around the spot you wax during the show, okay? We wouldn't want any unexpected accidents to occur. Of course not. Right, so you do that and come back to me once you've finished. All right, see ya. You know who has floor wax? Brie Vandekam. She definitely has floor wax, like, ain't no doubts. Can I help you with something? Yes, actually you can. I need some floor wax and I knew that you would have some to spare. Of course. I have spare bottles of all my cleaning supplies. Do you want lemon or unscented? It's yours to have. Of course, on the condition that you will dispose of the container in accordance with state recycling ordinances. Are you serious? Yes, very. I can't very well be party to more toxins getting into our environment. So, will you? Of course I will, Bree. Sure, I promise. I feel like this is more mocking her. Here you go. Have fun waxing. Fuck off. Thanks for the wax, though, whore. Oh, wait. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to wax the runway. Don't look, Daniel. I'm about to do some serious misdeeds. Like, we're doing this right in front of him. Like, how does he not notice this? Let's try to play mind games on Gabby. I don't know how, but... Hello. You wanted to see me? Despite what you may think, Gabby, it's not always about you. I'm aware of that. Now what is it you wanted? Oh, wait. I have to run. I'm late for my massage appointment with Ulrich. Toodaloo! Wait, no, but... Hello. You look like you're in a hurry. You okay, Gabby? You don't look well. You look upset. What's wrong? Carlos took away my credit cards, and he said he won't give them back for a week. Do you know what that means? It means that I have to write checks. Look at these hands. I can't write checks with beautiful nails like this. They might get scuffed. Well, I hope things get better for you, Gabrielle. I'll see you later. What the hell? Maybe... Hold on. Maybe if I try again. Maybe I was too mean to her. Gabby! Oh, they're both rushing to get the door. They both want to see me. Hello. You wanted to see me? Who doesn't want to see you, Gabby? I couldn't have said it better myself. Actually, I'm sure I would have found some way to compliment my cute new hairstyle. I heard that Carl's might be buy you another car. You're so lucky. 
God damn it. You obviously have no European luxury car. I really have to run. Okay, I'm back in the game, literally. I had to take off for a few hours. I went off. Oh, yeah, I can't do the high road or the low road because Gabby won't fucking respond to my being a, like, trying to manipulate her. I feel like I'd done it before. Maybe I'd tell him, like, if... No, but... I should be able to play mind games. Maybe I just can't do it with, like, her because she's too, like, secure. With her, like, femininity or whatever. Sneak in? Ooh! Wait, how's my composure? Uh, it's not that good. Oh, well. That sucks, but what are you gonna do? Maybe if I sit down for a few minutes, that'll help. Can I? Apparently not. Okay, well... Before we, um... Talk to Edie about, like, you know... Me doing what she wanted me to do. I'm just gonna sneak around for a little bit. And I don't have enough composure, so I'm gonna have to, like, get her pissed off at me. Which is not what you want from someone that you're helping, like, set up a crime with. Or not a crime, but you know what I mean. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't got much traction on those heels, girl. Flat on her face. Let's go. Boom. I wish I could have seen that. Get that jewelry. Hell yeah. Yay! Hi, Edie. Whoops. You almost scared me out of my hot pants. What are you doing in my house? Oh, good. You wouldn't believe if I told you? Isn't it obvious I'm saving it? What? Are you serious? Don't you smell that? The only thing I smell is a skunk. I thought I saw smoke coming from under your door, so I, I grabbed a fire extinguisher and crawled through the open window. That's a marvelous story, but I don't see a fire extinguisher anywhere. I know I was risking my life, but I couldn't bear the thought of your new house burning down. Something like that. Use composure! Cool! I have enough composure to trick her. I could have died in the act of saving your home, and all you can think about is a fire extinguisher? You should be ashamed of yourself, Edie Britt. You're absolutely right. I feel like such a bitch. I owe you big time. Cool. Well, now it sucks because now she's just standing there. Well, I, I need to tell her anyways. I mean, if anything, this granted, like, you know. I can't believe I snuck in. Now all I need to do is Edda's house, and then all I... And now I just need to, like, you know, fuck up with everyone after this. So it's all good, really. Is she not gonna answer the door? Where is she? Really? Fucking A. I just want to play mind games. Uh, who the fuck is everybody? Answer the fucking door. Uh. Like, not only do I need to play mind games, but I also need to let Edie know that I'm done. Can I call her? Because obviously she's not answering the phone. Or the door. Did you wax the runway yet? Oh, yes, I did. Sure did. Wonderful. Didn't you say you had two things you wanted to do? You're right, I did. The second thing we need to do is shut Daniel up. Just think. If the microphone isn't working, no one can hear him. The audience would be confused, and everyone that walks on stage won't really know what to do. Except for you, of course. Because you'd know about it, you wouldn't be as startled. Let me know when you finish that, and it should be the last thing. It sure is a lot of work for a simple sabotage. Believe me, it'll be worth it. I still can't stand, like, the way she's, like, twiddling her hips back and forth. With all I've been doing, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Okay, but seriously, can I sabotage Gab? Because I can cut the cords, but I really want to, like, fuck her in the mind, you know what I mean? She gets fucked physically, so why not? Alright, let's cut the cords and see what else we can do. Come back over here. I feel so bad for ruining the show. This is just horrible. Composure need low. Yeah, no shit. I need wire cutters. Okay, who would have wire cutters? Probably Mike. Hey, yo, Mikey, can I have some wire cutters? Sneak in! Wait. Oh, wait, I remember who has them. I don't know why Paul has them, but he does, so... There you go. Hello. Hi, Paul, how are you? Could be better. Could be worse. 
Isn't that always the case? Anyways, I was wondering if I, you had a pair of wire clippers I could borrow. Sure. But if you need some help, I'm pretty handy with tools. Actually, my husband needs them for something. Um, that's okay. I just need to borrow the tool. I can do the job myself. No problem. Here you go. I suppose I can trust you with them. You don't look like the type to take someone's things and never return them. Thanks, Paul.